In this video, we are going to set up a node for the Quai Network's Golden Age testnet. It is the last incentivized testnet before the mainnet launch, and it is also feature complete. The incentives are allocated based on how much Quai you earn during the testnet, and running a node does not earn you any incentives. However, with this node set up, you can then run a miner to therefore earn Quai tokens and earn mainnet Quai in the future. And let's get straight into it. I here have my Quai docs open, and if you go into the guides section, you go into the run a node. You can run a node on a Linux machine or on a Mac OS. They are very similar, the commands are very similar, they just slightly different in wording. I'm going to run on a Mac OS. So here I'm going to open my terminal. Um, we first start with the requirements in the docs. They are for the global node and for the slice node. At the moment, during the Golden Age testnet, there is only one slice, that is the Cypress 1 slice, if you're familiar with the terminology. So therefore, the global node is the same as a slice node, which is just um, literally one slice or one shard of the network that is being run. So let's continue straight into the setup. You will have to download several things right before then and copy a GitHub repository. So as you can see in here, you can choose what you are OS is either Linux or Mac OS. So since I'm on Mac, I click on Mac and you have to have a brew that is the thing to install things. <laughs> uh, yeah, very uh, elaborate of me, but if you don't have brew, you can install it. I will leave a link how to install brew in the description to this video. Now we go to the git make and uh, G++. You also click here on your Mac OS. If you're running on Mac OS, make sure that you change it. Um, then you click Burn install git make. I likely already have that. Mm -hmm. Then you will need to clone the repository, which is also just copy and paste it here. It will take some time, so I'll just speed it up right now. Now you will need to check out the latest release. Uh, so you will go to the GoQuai releases page. That is a page in our GitHub from Dominus Strategies. And you can see that the latest version or a tag is here. So you copy it or you can also paste it in. Um, and then you say git check out and then you paste the version and then you press enter. And then you are using that version and then you're good to go. You go back to the docs and continue the configuration of the node. In this testnet, we're having a slightly different configuration. If you also participated in the previous one, you don't have a configuration file. Instead, you use flags that you're going to paste right into your terminal to run the node. So let's get uh, actually the commands. So here the docs explain to you what kind of flags there are and what they each of them do. So there is Quai Coinbase's, which are the addresses that you can, uh, that you have to put in, uh, where you are going to receive your Quai rewards when you're mining. You, then you have your Qi Coinbase's, which are the Qi addresses. When you're mining Qi, you will receive Qi to those addresses. I will show you how to get them from your Pelagos wallet. Then there are also block rewards preference. So when mining, you by default mine more or less half and half, half chi, half kwai, that is by default. However, you can choose to mine fully kwai or fully chi. There is this whole thing of what you think the network is going to do based on like your future expectations of the hash rate. So for example, if I were expecting the hash rate to go up in the future, I would mine one. And if I expect uh, the hash rate to go down, then I, exp uh, I would mine the other because uh, you can convert kwai to chi and chi to kwai at a different rates depending on the hash rate of each. Um, it sounds a bit complicated. If you really don't want to deal with any of that, you can leave it at half and just make sure you get a little bit of each and you can convert as needed in the future. However, if you would actually like to play the game and potentially come into the system of how this energy-based money is going to work, I would recommend you to go into the docs, into the learn section that's right here and go into the dual token model and read how it works and then you can base off your decisions on um, for this flag here. However, for now, I'm going to leave it at 0.5, which is an even split. And the docs explain that if you put it at zero, this flag, 100% of your tokens will be in Kwai. And if you put it at one, this will be 100% of Qi that you get as your block reward. And you can also have anything in between. So 0.75 means that you have 75% of your Qi and 25% Kwai. And 0.25 is basically the reverse of that. So you get 
25% Qi and you get 75% Kwai. And uh, that is just a flag you can again put in. And here are just examples of how it would look like. Then the next flag that you will have to put in is the slice. So at the moment, in, during the Golden Age testnet, as I mentioned, there is only one slice running. That is Cypress 1 and that is slice 00, zero as the docs suggest. And now let's actually go ahead and use all these flags to run and build our node. So we copy the example. I think that's the easiest way to do it if you just copy and then replace the values. So I go and then I'll have to replace here the Quai coin basis, Qi coin basis, and the node miner preference. Quai coin basis is something you can get from your Pelagos wallet, and same as Qi. Um, by the way, Pelagos is the only wallet that supports both Quai and Qi, so you'll have to get your Qi coin basis there. So I'll show you how to do it, and for this process, you need to make sure that you are, are on the latest Pelagos version. So I think at the moment it is 1.0.9, and if you are using an older version of Pelagos, it is not going to work, so be aware of that. So copy your Quai address just by going in and make sure you are here in your Quai account. You copy it, and then you're good to go. You paste it right in your Quai node coin basis. Then you go and then you replace the Qi coin basis. And here the process is a little bit different. So remove the sample value. And now to actually go and get your Qi coin basis, uh, for example, this is not your Qi coin base. This is your Qi payment code. However, if you go into the settings by clicking on this three dots, uh, three lines, pardon me, and then you go into the Qi mining addresses. And here you get your Qi mining addresses. So I'll just create a new one for you to make sure. You can only create them for Cypress 1 because Cypress 1 is the only one that's running. And you copy this address and you should be good. And I will leave the node miner preference the same as it is in the sample. So 0 0.5, which gives me about 50-50 chance of getting Kwai and Qi. I'll have to put this uh, node genesis nonce that I'm putting right here as a flag. Everything that you will have to use to run your node will be in the docs. So if the docs asks you to run the node genesis nonce, or if there is any announcement that tells you to do it, then you do it. If you make a mistake somewhere in the process, I will show you just in a separate terminal uh, what you will have to do. So it is also in the docs if you would like to go. You go into other node operations. And then you go into the reset and clear. Make sure you're using the right command for your operating system. So I'm using for Mac, I'm choosing Mac. And you go and you clear your node database. This is simple. And then after that, you'll have to make go Kwai again. After this, you are good to run your build command again. So I have my build command that I just press the arrow up right now. This looks like this. And as you can see, we are running. Looks very nice. And if you'd like to go, uh, you can open another terminal or you can open another tab. You go into the checking sync process. Here, there are different ways you can do it. The easiest and the most comprehensive one that you can do is just this one with a asterisk in there, which is basically like a wild card. As you can see here, I'm having my node logs running. If you would like to kind of stop this from happening, I will stop this just to show you what exactly each number means. The most important part here is the number. The number shows you what block height you are at. First number is the prime chain, second one is the region chain, then you have the zone. So prime, Cypress, Cypress 1. You usually have to make sure that you are synced based on the Quai stats. There are Quai stats that you see and uh, there you see the block height. Current block height can be checked in the Quai Notes stats page. As you, if you go right in the docs, you can see that the prime height is 357. So it will take me some time of the node running by itself. So let's actually just watch this. So it will take me some time for the node to sync. Um, I will just have to basically let my computer run. 
and there are different ways that you can kind of make sure that your node is running even if you close the terminal and they're also in the docs so that is in the part enable node monitoring so i'm not going to do that right now on a mac os However, if you'd like to see a separate tutorial for it, either for macOS or for a Linux machine, please let me know in the comments so I know you would like to see that. It only makes sense to run your Stratum proxy if you're going to mine and if your node is synced already. Otherwise, there is no need to do that if you would just like to have your node. So let's go ahead and go into the guides and run Stratum proxy. That's where I already am. And the, everything in the setup is very similar to how it is in the node. So you'll only need to copy paste a couple of things. You'll first need to install the dependencies. You choose your macOS or Linux setup. We already installed Go during the node setup, so I'm not going to go ahead and do it. Um, then we already installed the, uh, during the node setup everything in the second step as well. However, the third step is something you will need to do if you have not yet done it. I actually have done it already, but let me demonstrate it how it works. So you just paste it in like this. Um, and then you end up in the Go Quai Stratum repository. And you'll need to make sure that you are on the latest release. So you copy the latest release that's right there. Go back into the docs and you say git checkout uh, version, the latest version that you found. And you are good here. Then you'll need to configure, but actually the configuration is not required. You can just paste in the regular configuration doc and it will just be the same. You don't need to change anything there. But then you can go ahead and make go quite stratum. Just copy that command and paste it in. And we're done. And now we can go ahead and run our proxy. So it's very easy. You can go ahead and build your proxy like this. So for most people, all you'll need to do is run your proxy this way. You will need to replace the region name and the zone name. So let's paste it in. The zone name, because we only have one zone running, you can check them actually right here, will be Cypress 1. So we can copy it like this as well. And then the region will be Cypress, because Cypress 1 is a zone within Cypress 1. Then it will also ask for connections. You allow that because it is a connection between different machines. So no worries about that. It's not a security or anything. And uh, you are broadcasting your stratum now. However, I'm not yet synced, so I'm just doing it for the tutorial. I just paused it by pressing Ctrl C to show you the logs and to show you what you can see here. You can see the current difficulty. You can see it is at 8000 mega hash which is uh, basically right now the node wranglers are mining so if you're interested when i'm recording it um, it's on friday october 18th um, then we also have a broadcasting block so the block number that you're doing your broadcasting uh, of your, from your node you can also see the same block number in the square brackets which give you a bit more information on also the prime and the region and the zone chain so separate um, however, right now I'm not yet synced, but once I'm synced and this number or which is the same number that my node has because Stratum is just showing um, broadcasting whatever your node has to the mining machines so they, th they can mine. So you can do that. Um, you check the stats. Once the stats number, the prime height, region height and zone height are the same as those for your stratum and for your node, then you can go ahead and set up your miner. It does not make sense to mine while your node is not synced. It does not make sense to set up stratum proxy while your node is not synced. Once that is set up, you are good to set up your miner. As I already mentioned, we will do that in our next tutorial. If you're waiting for that, please support this video with likes and comments, and I'll do my best to release the mining setup video as soon as possible. However, that will be on a Linux machine and not on uh, the Mac OS because mining is uh, kind of, you do not mine on Mac OS, just I'm sure you are familiar with that. <laughs> I hope your node is running well. If it's not, go reach out to our support. If you go into the docs, you can click here. So you search for help here, first things first. If you don't find the solution to your issue here, you go to our Discord or you leave a message right in here because it has a, a bot that connects you with the moderators. That was it for this video. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next tutorial.